the last place I wanted to be was Frost Nippistan. This one's wife. Get those balls going. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Well, it's probably not the first time that Harry has been encouraged to get his balls going. We're continuing the examination of the Nigerian leg of the Worldwide Privacy Tour by analysing the activity of this one's wife through the prism of her narcissism. Remember, there is no such thing as a part-time narcissist. The narcissist, when interacting with other people, is governed by their narcissism. It causes the narcissist to seek control, draw fuel, acquire character traits, and look for those all-important residual benefits. When the narcissist is asleep, the narcissism isn't functioning. When the narcissist is sat on their own watching a television program, the narcissism isn't functioning. They're just watching the television program. When the narcissist is making a meal for themselves, the narcissism isn't functioning. They're just making a meal for themselves. But the moment that they consider interaction with somebody else or somebody comes up on their radar, the narcissism wakes from its sleep function and then governs the responses and behaviours of the narcissist. Matt Strudwick and Nick Pisa are reporting in Lagos as they explain that this one's wife kept her vow to ditch her neutral style for bright colours and honour her Nigerian roots, character trait acquisition, revision of history, as she glowed in a stunning yellow dress in Lagos. It has to be said, it's not one of the worst items that she's worn, although Big Bird from Sesame Street did pop into my mind when I saw her. The Sussexes walked hand-in-hand, hand, facade management, assertion of control through grip of doom. As they arrived at the state governor, Babajied Sanwa Alu's house, where they were guests of honour. In her second wardrobe change of the day, this one's wife, <coughs> 42, dazzled in the chic, ankle-length canary yellow dress, first seen in 2020, which she matched with a classic pair of nude slingback leather sandals. She donned the 3,198 Caroline Herrera yellow dress in photographs shared on the couple's social media to mark the birthday of their oldest son, Archie. She also wore the frock in 2021 when she announced her pregnancy with Princess Lilibet. The smiling this one's wife was greeted by Mr. Sanwo Olu with a kiss on the cheek. Prince Harry appeared to be wearing the same outfit as when the couple arrived this morning, scruffy twat. This one's wife has been wearing vibrant colours on the Quasi Royal Tour in order to fit in with Nigeria's incredible fashion. Facade management, character trait acquisition. She said at the event, it's been a whirlwind 24 hours since we arrived and I very quickly got the memo that I need to wear more colour so I can fit in with all of you and your incredible fashion. Or I think what the memo would have said is, fucking cover up, you're not auditioning on a yacht. This one's wife's wardrobe for her three-day visit to Nigeria has appeared to be filled with sentimental choices, and she continued that theme with the yellow outfit. Then talks about what she'd worn previously, not particularly interesting. We've seen all of that. In scenes reminiscent of a presidential visit, grandiosity, their 14-car convoy, complete with machine guns mounted on trucks, grandiosity, swept from airport to a basketball court where they met children from a local school. On the court, Harry shot a few hoops with excited kids. Noted, notice once again that Harry's the one that joins in with these things, this one's wife doesn't. I've explained elsewhere in my video about why she's not sporty. I would suggest that you watch that to understand why she never does the sporty things and it's always left for Harry to do it. Harry shot a few hoops with excited kids who were part of a sporting project called Giants of Africa. What you guys are doing here at Giants Africa is truly amazing, Harry said. 
The power of sport can change lives. It brings people together and creates community, and there are no barriers, which is the most important thing. Archwell Foundation and Giants of Africa will construct a basketball court in the capital Abuja. Utilisation of other people's money for facade management. After that, the couple went to the Delborough Hotel for a wardrobe change before heading to the reception with the governor. Their visit will end on Sunday with a fundraising polo match for Nigeria Unconquered and a gala dinner before they head back to London on Monday and then on to California. The Sussexes schedule saw them attend the Dream Big Basketball Clinic hosted by the Giant of Africa Foundation. The visit is primarily to promote the Invictus Games and comes after Harry met the Nigerian team and General Musa at last year's competition in Dusseldorf, Germany. It then repeats stuff that we've already heard about this one's wife's attendance at the Women in Leadership event, her talking about enjoying motherhood and so forth. It talks about the volleyball match and we're treated to various pictures of the gruesome twosome at the heart of a number of children who don't look particularly enthused, I have to say, at the attendance of the Sussexes. They seem to be looking around in a rather bemused manner as if to say, who are these people and why are they here? Which is rather entertaining. There's plenty of footage that then's obtained of this one's wife holding the hand of a wheelchair basketball player, the children throwing the basketballs up in the air, and Harry doing more of his meeting and greeting of people, all of which, of course, designed to make them look good. It's another instance, of course, of where this one's wife attends an event, Harry does the sporty stuff, and she swans around, receives a gift, meets people, and, of course, acts as if she were a royal, even though she's not. Notice that they've repeatedly been referenced as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, even though they're appearing in a private capacity. This one's wife wants it to be the case that people greet her in that manner because she loves the hierarchy and status that comes with that title. It's necessary for her to behave in this fashion because she loves to lord it over people, because it makes it easier for her to control them. She's not interested in the basketball. What she's interested in is being photographed, being filmed, the reactions of people to her. And another day goes by on the tour where she behaves like she's a royal, even though she isn't a working one, demonstrating her hypocrisy and the fact that she will do what she she will do one thing and then say another and this is the way that she functions this whole trip is nothing to do with invictus it's everything to do with another opportunity for this one's wife to seek out the prime aims and in particular for her to manage her facade and to try and acquire some popularity because she's failed so badly in the united kingdom and the united states i'm hg tudor thank you for listening